pandas are derpy. I mean, just look at this thing. In a kid's movie about a panda doing kung fu? That just sounds like an easy cash grab filled with fart jokes. And that's what most people expected when they saw the trailer. Except me. I remember my young brain saw the trailer on my bootleg DVD of the B-movie and I was like, nice. So why the hell did DreamWorks go off when they made Kung Fu Panda came out in 2008. Damn, that's like 16 years ago. And from the moment of its release, it was met with critical praise. It was so good in fact that it caused China to have a cinema crisis. And also probably would have caused a lot of death since everyone was trying to do the wishy finger hold. But thank god nobody knew how to do it properly. But that aside, Kung Fu Panda is still one of the greatest animated movies till this day. And there's so much reasons for that. The animation is great, the music is memorable, Ugui Ascends is a certified banger. And the characters go above and beyond in playing their parts. Personally, I think the best villains are the ones who are tragic. Ones who have been wronged or are broken. A villain who didn't start off as such, but came to be after having one bad day. And that encompasses Tai Lung wholeheartedly. From a very early age, Shifu made Tai Lung a promise. A promise that if he was the strongest, if he worked hard and trained, he would be destined to become the dragon warrior. In short, he was made a promise that he was and would be special. And that is exactly what Tai Lung did. He worked and he trained to the point whenever he was clearly outmatched or outnumbered, he would still come out on top. And Shifu was always there right behind him, reinforcing the idea that he was almost there. He was almost special. He just needs the dragon scroll. So when it was time to get what he wanted so bad, to get what he was promised, it didn't happen. Ugui saw the darkness in him and refused to give him the dragon scroll. That was Tai Lung's one bad day. The darkness Ugui saw was pride. The Tai Lung felt entitled to the dragon scroll, and when he didn't get it, he caused havoc to the city, and Shifu couldn't stop the monster he raised, the monster he made. Tai Lung's whole motivation was to get the dragon scroll, not to destroy the world or commit panda genocide. Looking at you, Shen. But why? Why was he so adamant in getting the scroll? What does he even get from the dragon scroll? Simply put, he just wanted to be special. He just wanted to be enough for his father. What I think doesn't get talked about enough in this movie is the character of Po himself. Or at least the internal struggle he goes through for most of the movie. Sure, Po is fun and would honestly be a great real life friend. But you know what else Po is? He's sad. I don't know how to explain it properly, but throughout the whole movie, almost every scene with Poe in it has a sense of somberness to it. Poe doesn't like who he is and where he's at. Heck, the first thing he does after waking up from his dream is look at his kung fu stuff and sigh with dissatisfaction for not being the person he dreams to be, or more so not believing he could ever be that person. He's a panda. You're a panda. What are you gonna do, big guy? Sit on me? All of Poe's life, he's always felt like he doesn't belong, and that is further exemplified when he's chosen to be the dragon warrior. From the moment he steps in the Jade Palace, all his heroes tell him that he should not be there. They make fun of him and they keep repeating that this was a mistake. To add further salt to the wound for every emotional pain that Poe is going through, it's matched with some sort of physical pain. And despite how ignorant Shifu and the five thing Poe is, he's not. Poe believes that he shouldn't be there even more than his colleagues do, yet he persists. Not because he believes he could be the Dragon Warrior, but it was a chance to become anybody but himself. And I'm not the dragon warrior. Then why didn't you quit? You knew I was trying to get rid of you, yet you stayed. Yeah, I stayed. I stayed because every time you threw a brick at my head or said I smelled, it hurt. But it could never hurt more than it did every day of my life just being me. I stayed because I thought if anyone could change me, could make me not me, it was you. If you tell yourself something often enough, you start to believe it. Poe wanted to be someone else. Anything else. He just didn't want to be himself. Why? Because he believes he is not worthy of anything. You are special. You are special. No matter what you've been through or are going through, no matter what has been said to you or about you, you are special and capable. To make something special, you just have to believe it's special. In order for something to be special, you have to believe it's special. And that's what this whole entire movie is trying to tell us. Mind you, in a very entertaining and funny manner, Poe was always special. Just like how Tai Lung was always special. Sure, there are many differences between them, but in the end, they were both special. And that's the biggest difference between Tai Lung and Poe. It's how they react to finding out the secret ingredient. After Poe realizes he was special, he finally became at peace with who he was. A big, fat panda. And when Tai Lung was told the same thing, that there was no secret ingredient, Tai Lung couldn't accept it. He was still holding on to something, holding on to that promise that was made to him so long ago. 
Okay, so this chapter has a different tone from their entire video, but holy guacamole are the action scenes in this movie better than they should have ever been. Action sequences are everywhere. And sure, you can't deny they look cool or look like anything because of all the explosions. We often forget that action scenes should also serve a purpose in either progressing the plot or the story. And every action scene in this movie utilizes its fight in the perfect way. The scene where Tai Lung escapes prison is meant to show how powerful Tai Lung is. The bridge scene is meant to show the abilities of the Furious Five and amplify how much of a threat Tai Lung is. And the final fight is meant to show that Po is the dragon warrior. People always talk about the prison scene, which is amazing in its own right. What I want to talk about is the final fight. The final fight in this movie is both funny and well choreographed, while also being easy to follow. I can't tell you how much times in an action scene I can't tell you what's going on because it's too convoluted, but everything in this scene has a clear setup and a payoff. It's an homage to classic martial arts movie, but also Poe himself. The best part of this fight is that it speaks to everything that is Poe. From the noodles, to the fireworks, to the fatness, to the wishy finger hold, Poe is the dragon warrior. Kung Fu Panic could have easily been a lazy movie with a stellar cast, but it wasn't. It is a movie that is special. A movie that has a dedicated cult following for doing everything exceptionally awesome. A movie that tells its audience that they're special. You are special. You just have to believe you are. Skidoosh.